Hey, what's going on guys? Drone B here. There is chaos. Chaos in the realm. Chaos in what? Chaos in the good old 1521. And uh, it's crazy right now, guys. So um, our only, well actually we might have a couple T7 now, but, but the biggest T7 player in our realm, the 62 here, um, it used to be owned by Princess Ceci, except for she gave it away or she sold it to Trackhawk of all people. So uh, uh, Trackhawk now has control of two accounts, two CT7 accounts, and it's been chaos. He's wiped out. He's wiped out pretty much an entire guild already, and it sounds like there's more to come. Uh, the only the only upside for us is that Track now has two accounts, so he can't kill. You know, he has to kind of switch back and forth, right? He can't be constantly destroying everybody. He can only destroy everybody for half the time. So, yeah, it's chaos, guys. So, what do you do? What do you do when you have a rogue player going around and uh, just taking out everybody, just capturing heroes, zeroing as many people as he can? This isn't even his realm, so there's not that much repercussion, right? He doesn't know any of us. He can come in, you know, and just inflict mass carnage and then leave like it never happened. So, uh, well, not really leave. He's kind of here. That account's kind of here. But, but he doesn't necessarily have to take responsibility for the destruction. So, so what do you do about somebody like this? What do you do about the people who just go rogue and maybe they've been zeroing your guild all day long? Maybe they've been bullying you guys around. Uh, what do you do? Well... Got some bugs flying around in here. You squash them. That's what you do, guys. You squash them like you squash bugs. Uh, <laughs> no, just, there's no way I'm going to squash a 62. So uh, really what you need to do is you got to keep track of them, first of all. You got to have the realm always giving out their location. And what I would recommend is have a line app or even, even a realm chat for everyone. And uh, just get as many people in it as you can, and only, like, specifically for the purpose of giving out the location of, of the aggressor and uh, getting out the warnings for bullying online, uh, online chat, or what's the other one? Discord's a good one. Uh, that's, a, that's probably the, the best line of defense is awareness, is just keeping track of him. When he's near you, you're going to have to bubble, or you're going to have to put your hero on rally to save them. And what you can do guys, this is what I do or what I would do. I don't do it on, I'm not too afraid on this account, but you got to find a big account that's zeroed. And if you do a rally and um, what I do now, this is if you're afraid that you're going to be attacked, you could set an eight hour rally with your hero and then also all your good mercenary troops. Um, I would, I would, do every one that you can. And that way, these troops in your rally and your hero will be safe from being zeroed, right? So I can protect, in essence, I could protect, if I equip my Noxus, I could, I could protect 90,000 troops. Uh, so I would select the mercenary troops that will not go to the hospital. So your guardians are likely to go to your hospital unless so many of your troops die that it fills up your hospital in one attack and it might just kill your guardians off in that scenario. But uh, I would take the chance and, uh, well, you could save your guardians, you know, so you, if you, your guardians might be really important to you. So, so maybe you want to leave enough room to save your guardians, but your guardians are going to give you that little extra time to not be zeroed, right? That's going to like 60,000 golden guardians. That's going to get you a hit or two hits, maybe three hits before you have to, uh, you know, lock on and heal them up or bubble. So it could, you know, it's some line of protection. Maybe you want to keep them, especially if you think your hospital is not going to be over full with one attack like me. So I'd keep them and I would save my, um, you know, I'd save my bees. I'd save my, uh, really all my T7 equivalent merce, uh, mercenary troops. Maybe I'd save my enforcers. Why not? Personally, that's what I would do. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's not so much a line of defense as a line of protection for that one. 
Uh, you could get a an attack squad or a defense squad together that just goes around and hopefully you can get some T6 players and or or whatever you know it might be a T4 if you're in a younger realm it might be a T3 or a T4 player bullying you guys hopefully you can get a defense squad put together in the realm uh, sort of an alliance between guilds to defend against these people and it doesn't take too many like if we had like three or four people with T6 willing to teleport around and reinforce whoever uh, Hawks attacking uh, it would help it wouldn't you know, necessarily, it might not even prevent track from moving around and attacking people, but it certainly would uh, give them quite a bit more losses, right? And hopefully, you know, that's one way to do it. And and that reinforcing could save your guildmate or save a realm, you know, a realm mate. Because you don't want your realm to leave, right, guys? Like, there's a reason why... Uh, there, there are reasons why you wouldn't want to go around and just zero everyone all the time. Maybe do it for fun every once in a while to capture a hero. But if you're going around and you're zeroing everyone all the time, nobody's going to want to play with you, right? And this is a game, and what good is a game if nobody wants to play with you? They're going to, you know, you might get some people to quit. And they're going to, I don't know, they might find a different realm or maybe just be done with the game. That doesn't help you out. That doesn't help you out at all. Uh... You know, you want to play the game with people. So if you're going around taking out everybody all the time, you're not you're not making a very good game for yourself. And uh, uh, yeah, that that's my take on it. So, uh, but but if you have these rogue bullies, they may not care. They might just be, you know, they they might enjoy the suffering that they inflict in the game on other people. So uh, if you get one of those nihilistic type, you know, the the burn the world down the anarchist type what do you do well protect yourself first and foremost uh, you could do the defense squads awareness of them make sure you know where they're going uh, one of the best things to do for bullies is to actually try <laughs> now this is not a tactic for real life guys I would not do this in real life uh, because I probably I don't think it works well I don't I actually have no idea I don't know how to stop bullying guys but but uh, I've noticed in game, if you befriend the bully, that actually can help you out. Like it does, it's not going to help you to send angry messages to him or her. It's not going to help you to, uh, you know, if you're taunting them, they're just going to want to burn you even more. It's going to be personal and not just, uh, you know, they want to burn you anyway. They're going to want to burn you more if, uh, you know, if you're sending them taunting messages like, "Hey, man, you're a loser. You don't, you don't even, you know." I don't know, insert insult here. Uh, so so you definitely, you could try being nice to them. Maybe say, hey man, you know, that's a really awesome account you got. Um, you know, just start a conversation with them. I wouldn't like, you know, you don't have to like uh, kiss their feet or anything. But like, yeah, you don't have to say they have a great account. But just see what they're up to, you know. See what's up. Maybe you can befriend them and... If you're on their good side, and this helps a lot more if you start early on in a realm, like if you just befriend everyone, uh, you know, you'll at least one person in every guild, you can go to that person and say, hey man, your guildmate's attacking me. Uh, you think you could, you know, uh, think we could work something out here. Or I think maybe you could try to get them to back off just a little bit. You know, if you're friends with people, and if you have a good network of friends in the game, you're going to be somewhat protected. Uh, and it helps to be friends with strong people, but you you know you could be friends with everyone, and you know it's not a bad tactic. Like it really, in terms of trying to grow in this game without having to worry about bubbling every night. If you're friends with most of the people in the realm, you're probably fine. Like uh, even when I left the game, I wasn't too worried about people attacking me because you know most people. I'm, I'm friendly with. I'm on good terms with just about everyone I think in the realm, and and uh, I know pretty much everybody's cool if I'm cool to them. So uh, that's kind of how I approach the game, and I think that's best for long-term growth in the game. But uh, you know, it's also a war game too. So <laughs> so uh, you know, there's gonna be there's gonna be some battle. You, you don't want all battle to stop. You just want to not have to bubble every night, right? <laughs> So, so uh, you know, it's a it's a line to it's a line to walk. 
you don't want to be so good that you can't attack people, but you want to be good enough that you don't have to worry about being zeroed every night. Um, yeah, so hopefully that makes some sense. Hopefully I'm not just rambling on. Uh, so what am I going to do to stop this track hawk person? Well, probably nothing. I'm probably just going to, uh, I'll be doing some reinforcing, I'm sure. And I've been, if you have battle marks unlocked, you can mark their location. Um, and that's really helpful to do for your guild straight down from here. Yeah, here we go. So, uh, boom, click on them and then mark target. And you may not have it unlocked. You have to, for, for most people, I think it came in a pack. Like, they like to include mark target in other packs. So there's a chance that maybe you have it unlocked if you just, if you're buying packs every once in a while. Even if you don't buy the specific pack for it. I probably wouldn't buy the mark target pack. It's just... It's not the greatest pack, right? Like, it's not going to help you get ahead in the game. Unless you have somebody who's just going around burning everybody. But uh, it also helps to know the time zone of the, of the aggressor. So if you know when they're online, you know when to protect yourself. And when you need to be vigilant. Uh, you know, because a lot of people... This isn't just a single continent game, right? This is a global game. There's... There's Asian, there's European, there's Australian, there's, you know, American, you got South American, you got all, all, all the globe playing this game. So uh, it helps to know if they're European, because, uh, like for me, European, they're going to probably be awake while I'm asleep, or, or awake, uh, I need to be more careful in the mornings than in the evenings. And uh, another big thing is your hive formations. And this is pretty key for more preventing the aggressor from finding you. Um, there's, there's two ways to approach it. One, you can have a really tight hive and uh, leave no gaps in the hive. So where if the aggressor wants to come in, they have to teleport to the rim and then march all the way to get to the, the juicy targets. Well, I, I don't know what happened here, but for some reason a hole uh, opened up. And I'm not sure how it happened, but... They're, they're usually pretty good about keeping a tight hive. So, <laughs> I feel bad for these guys. They have the, you know, the aggressor in the middle of their hive, which is worst case scenario. So, uh, what I would recommend is find a location like this that's surrounded on at least two sides, hopefully three sides, by water or a mountain or those arches. Those arches are a good spot. And uh, then have your farms on the outskirts. So that's what I would do, you know, nobody's going to be attacking these level 11s, right? They want to get to the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s. So if you have the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s inside, protected by the, uh, the farms on the outside, that's a real good way to do it. Like, this is a pretty good hive formation, except for that one opening that popped up, <laughs> however that happened. Uh, the other way to run your guilds, I probably should stop clicking because I'm sure that's annoying. The other way to run your guilds is um, you could spread out. Now, that's what our guild does, is we have a real spread out guild. Like, we are all over the map. There's only a couple of places where there's, like, smaller clusters of us. And this is a pretty good tactic because they can't attack more than a couple of us at any given location. So they're going to have to use a lot of teleports. And teleports aren't cheap. Some packs come with 10, most packs don't come with uh, but one, right? You get one in the Moogle rewards. So, so uh, you know, if they, I'm sure they have a lot of teleports, but make them use them, right? Make them work to get your guild. That's my tactic. Uh, I think that's, it seems to work out the best. The only downside is trading resources and reinforcing becomes a hassle. Uh, you know, but if you do clumps of like three or four, that's not a bad way to go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, you know, that's kind of the way it is. Uh, protect yourself. Don't, don't be that guy in chat going around giving out locations. Because people don't like those guys. <laughs> We've got a couple of them that, you know, they're, they're always talking trash. And, uh, you know, I, I guess that, that there is something fun about that, being hated and wanting people to attack you 
like if you really want to be tested 24 7 but I don't I don't recommend that <laughs> it's, <laughs> I think that'd be more stressful than anything but I can understand the concept of playing the villain like I get why some people want to do that and yeah guys so you know here's another pretty good hive right like make them come to the outskirts protect yourself on at least one side not a bad way to go and I'm kind of rambling on so I'm gonna shut it down here uh, oh one other thing I was gonna say guys is um, have you guys had any run-ins with machine zone or epic action with their support I'm curious if you've had any success I've been in uh, embroiled in a controversy not really controversy but I submitted a ticket for a pack I bought and this pack it was supposed to come with with a hundred so if you scroll down to the bottom sometimes you get stuff that comes with the packs right like uh, like like this one supposedly it comes with uh, actually this one doesn't come with anything extra some gill like uh, like that's gonna do much good but but uh, sometimes down at the bottom or, or like here like you see the ultimate sizzling uh, sizzling sizzle sizzle sizzling yeah I guess that's right sizzling summer keys and then the 100 exalted research tomes. Well, I saw a pack that came with, and actually all my packs for a t period of time came with a 100 expansion blueprints and 100 crafting scrolls. So I got the Guardian pack because it came with that. I thought, okay, I can increase my March size some. I can get more commanders every day. Uh, I was kind of, kind of excited about it because I was on the edge of maybe getting the Guardians or not. So I thought, well, this, this makes the pack worth it. I'll get the pack. And I... Buy the pack, confirm, boom, but 100 expansion prints were not in the pack. I don't have them. They, they were vanished. I checked the, uh, the notice down here, and it wasn't listed in the notice for whatever reason, so it just kind of vanished, right? As soon as I hit confirm, it gave me a whole different pack. And uh, so I submitted a ticket for it, and I'm like, well, let's just see if they can do anything about it. And uh, they messaged back saying the timer ran out. Well, I know for a fact the timer didn't run out because I was recording it when I bought it. Uh, for some reason, I do that. I don't know why. I just record it when I bought it. Uh, of course, I don't want to open that, show you guys that because I entered my password and everything. But, but there was like nine minutes left, nine or ten minutes left when I bought the pack. Nine and a half minutes. And they're sitting around telling me that the timer ran out. And that's why it, a different pack refreshed. And I'm telling them, no, 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 that's not what happened. Um, but they basically just say there's no way that I could have bought a pack. Like, it couldn't have came with the pack that I bought because I didn't get it. And I'm trying to tell them, hey, guys, you guys are just wrong about this. Like, I know for a fact I have it recorded. And, yeah, so it's just a back and forth. I'm getting pretty frustrated with their their support is the worst, guys. Like, these their support, like, hates us, I think. I'm convinced, actually, to be honest, that Machine Zone is is the devil, and we are playing the devil's game. Uh, I guess that makes me a devil's advocate. I don't know, but it's driving me insane because, you know, you this game is a lot of fun, right? It's addicting. It's a game that it's all about. It's all about. It's a social game, right? It's about ha and hanging out and communicating and having fun with a group of people. And uh, but machine zone, man, they just like making our lives miserable, especially if you buy a pack that there was some mistake in the pack. Heaven forbid. I feel sorry for you guys. Um, somebody said, uh, if, you know, if, if you buy packs through Google or Apple, you're much more protected. Like, uh, if you get a pack like that, you can dispute it with Google or Apple. I use Amazon Coins because it, it's cheaper. You save uh, like $20, $20 if you buy packs at one at a time. And if you buy packs five at a time, you save like $125, uh, you know, for five packs. So that's how I do it, but uh, the downsides, you can't really dispute transactions with Amazon. Like, I haven't figured it out. If you figure that out, let me know, because I'd like to know. Because I, I, I dispute that just, just because I dislike Machine Zone so much, man. They're the devil. They are, they're evil, man. We're playing an evil game. Game by evil makers. <laughs> so that's my story with support. I've had some other run-ins, but typically 
typically it's like on the edge, like, okay, I don't really care. But this one, it's almost more about the principle of it. Like, man, you guys just, just can't give me that 100 building uh, expansion prints, right? Like, why? it's not going to break the game to give me what I bought in a pack. So, anyways, that's my take. Um, hope you guys have better luck with their support than I have. Darn you, Gretchen. If you're out there, Gretchen, you. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So that's it for today. Drone B, out.